Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. <clears throat> so in this video, I'm going to be talking about gratitude on steroids. I'm going to be talking about gratitude plus plus. I'm going to be talking about finding the sacred in the mundane. I'm going to be talking about finding the magic in the ordinary. How do we transform our lives so that we don't, we, we find, we become like the lotus flower that is pristine and pure, even in, even though it's growing in the muck. It is, um, yeah, it is, it's about gratitude, but gratitude in a way that is very deeply transformative and very consistent as, as consistent as possible. The power, the magic of gratitude, it is not a, a simple thing. It is not a small thing. It is huge. Okay, so what do we do? How do we, um, how do we do that? How do we start to unlock that? The way we do that is by taking every moment of our lives, everything that we're doing, and just feeling that intense gratitude in, like, thinking, sitting with it and staying with it. We wake up. Uh, I'm going to explain this with examples. We wake up. We feel the intensity of the gratitude for being alive. Um, I don't know if you have heard these stories. You might have heard these stories. But do you know how difficult it is for you to have been here? For you to have been here, all of your ancestors, from both sides, your mom's side and your dad's side, all of them had to survive long enough to have had you. And then you had, they had, their kids had had to have survived long enough in order to have had their kids. And then their kids would have had, like so many people, if we go up the chain, up the chain, up the chain, so many, 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 many thousands, more than I don't know how many people would have had to survive in that chain continuously without a single break long enough to have had kids to have had their descendant, to have had your ancestors. How incredibly in lucky is that? How incredibly, how, what is the, what are the odds? And then the odds that for you to have been born, that particular, I don't know how many millions of sperm go to that egg that, that, that one of them would have had to, you know, find its way to that egg and, and have found you. And what are the odds? So th these are multiple, like two different angles to look at it, right? One is the ancestral angle. One is that sperm angle. And then the third angle is um, if you believe in reincarnation and you believe that you could have been, like you have to go through all of these species, you have to go through um, being plants and animals and everything until you, 8.4 million species or something, until you can finally get a human form. How lucky is it that you have a human form? You have to go through so much. How rare, how difficult it is to, to get a human form. And getting a human form is important because then we can make progress towards eternity if you believe in that. So three different angles, just the moment you wake up, you can just, whichever angle feels good to you or whichever angles feel good to you, you can just feel amazing that you're awake, that you're alive, that you're breathing. How lucky is that? And some of you might be like, oh, but what is the point of me being alive or whatever if you're feeling not feeling good? You make a difference in people's lives. If you start to think about it, how many how many people did smiled yesterday, even once because of you or in the last week or in the last month? How much impact have you made just by making people smile? Because everybody is just in the same exact boat as you, right? So, okay, so when you wake up with this kind of thing, and if you don't feel that immediate gratitude, if you're like, oh, you know, then you bring yourself, you just sit up and you think about it, you ruminate over it, you contemplate on, on it. And you're like, this is sacred. The fact that I'm alive right now is sacred. And the fact that I'm alive right now just proves that I am loved because God loves me. That's why I am here. That's why I'm alive. That's why he's given me this opportunity to, to be on earth. 
um and then you can wake then you can start to feel the sacredness in just everything you can start to feel the sacredness in the fact that you had a place to sleep that you got sleep however much you got even if you're an insomniac which i used to be now i'm sleeping much better but even if you're an insomniac it's like okay i got 3 hours of sleep which is so much better than not getting any sleep right how amazing is that how amazing is it that we have this body that just knows what to do it just knows that i'm sleepy right now and that it knows what to eat when it wants to eat it knows it knows it knows how to heal you hit yourself i mean i, I i'm kind of clumsy i keep banging into things all day long but my body is just always healing it hurts for a moment or two but then it heals how amazing is it that we have food to eat that we have shelter that we have whatever place we're living in it doesn't matter where we're living in we have a place to live that we have food to eat that we have the ability to walk that we have the ability to do things to get up to move our hand we just we, we say i want to move my hand and there you go my hand moves how incredible is that so when we start to do that and then every time we have a thought we have an idea about anything that we're doing we can say oh none of my ideas work we can go into that like i've tried for so many decades for so many years for so many whatever nothing works or i can be like oh my goodness my life just changed right now i just had a, an idea and it even if it's a small idea it's not i'm not talking about this huge things but even if it's a small idea if we capture it and we're like oh my goodness this was good this was huge this small thing gave me a 1 degree shift that 10 years later is going to take me to a completely different place than i am today how amazing is it so or we can go to like oh i get these ideas but then i forget them and i don't manage to implement them sure maybe you get 100 ideas and you implement one but those 100 ideas i have uh, spoken about that in one of my previous videos those 100 ideas eventually they are seeds that are there in your head and eventually they will take hold they they might take hold you don't need to have 100 ideas every day and implement all of them in order for your life to change you just need one and if out of the 100 ideas you implement one of them which you do obviously you do think of at the think of what you have implemented and changed in your life in your whole life just make a list of the things that you have had ideas of and you have made anything that you have done comes from ideas right so anything you are whatever you're doing has come from ideas so look at that um and there's a lot of shadow i think i should move location maybe let me try moving and better i think yeah so life is not this to shadow it's okay life is not about i'm trying moving it's bothering me Huh. Ah, much better. Okay. So, yeah, life is not about all the millions of things we didn't do. Life is about finding the sacredness in the things that we did. Finding the sacredness in the things that we had ideas about or finding the sacredness in the thoughts, the emotions that we had. I had an emotion where I felt love for somebody and I wanted to do something for somebody. That's sacred. and you can hold on to that yes i feel love how amazing is it how amazing that i am somebody who can feel love that you are somebody who can feel love how amazing is that it, it, we are if we think about that where is that love coming from it's coming from somewhere right it's not coming from the body is it coming from the hands is it coming from the eyes is it coming from the mouth no is it coming from some electrical impulses somewhere is it coming from just random electrical impulses is does electricity cause love no it is coming from our soul and our soul is love our soul is getting that love because krishna or because god is giving us that love 
it has created our soul our soul is a part and parcel of god and how amazing is it that we are able to access it even despite the fact that we're living in this world where we're so afraid we're so filled with ego we're so filled with fear and it's covering it's like 30 miles of of all these coverings on our soul which make us do really stupid things and yet despite all of that we are able to access love we're able to feel it from other people we're able to feel gratitude when other people love us and we're able to feel love for other people there even if it's in moments we're able to feel that we're able to feel the desire to help somebody how amazing is that how sacred is that how beautiful is that how magical is that so hold on to all of these things every day just focus shift your mind to being grateful about these little things these little things are not little things these are huge things just focus on that it does not matter how much you feel look i have not achieved i should have achieved all of this stuff by now in the last however many years i have not achieved i should have no be present right now be in the moment and access whatever joy you can access in this moment because it is the series of moments that creates your life it is not that one achievement you can do that one achievement and you can feel happy for a moment for an hour for a day and then it's over that's it all of that success and achievement you're looking for you can work for it for 10 years 20 years 30 years and you achieve that thing you achieve whatever it is you achieve that million dollars billion dollars trillion dollars whatever you want to do you achieve it and you feel happy for one moment split moment and that's it it's over but this gratitude this feeling of sacredness this this feeling of being intensely intensely connected with what is right now feeling the power feeling the sacredness feeling the love feeling the joy of what is right now that if you do moment after moment if you use your mind to help you your mind can be your worst enemy nothing ever works for me or your mind can be your best friend i am so loved i am so loved by god i am so loved by whoever is around me I am so grateful I am so honored I am so, I have gi- I have been given so many gifts moment by moment moment by moment moment by moment if we practice using our mind to bring ourselves to joy to love to magic then this stays with us for the rest of our lives any of those so called achievements and successes don't stay with us more than a moment the joy of them don't stay with us but the practicing of the mind to be present to be grateful that stays with us always and that gives us this feeling of i am loved i am sheltered because what makes human beings human is fear and when we have an immense amount of fear in our lives and when we get over that fear when we start to feel the shelter of god when we start to feel the shelter of the universe then we start to transform completely we start to be able to surrender we start to be able to access that feeling of security access that feeling of shelter access that feeling of magic access that feeling of nourishment and then we can feel at peace finally then we can sleep much better then we can not care about the results because we're doing what we need to do in this moment but we feel right in this moment we following our intuition and we're feeling we're doing what god wants us to do or what we feel is what our intuition basically which is god guiding us is telling us to do and we feel peace and we feel love and we feel joy okay and that's it for this video wish you a day filled with sacred moments lots and lots of sacred moments radhe radhe